Hallo, heute sind wir im Oceanografik in Valencia. trainer here in the oceanographic of the pinniped section um, we have a South American sea lions a group of 12 uh, which consists of two adult males one seven month old male uh, born last year and the rest are all females ranging from three to 19 years old here uh, we're in the in the seal area so we have in this pool we have eight seals which consists of three males uh, uh, two female Patagonian sea lions and two loggerhead turtles it's a really dynamic pool uh, because we have mixed species which always makes it really interesting um, uh, for all the species so basically on a day-to-day -day, uh, routine we have in the morning we'll give the breakfast to all the animals uh, and we tend to weigh them on a daily basis so that's so we can have a good food control so we make sure um, what the time of year is we make sure that they're uh, weighing in what they're supposed to so normally in the summertime they would weigh a little bit less and in the winter they eat more so they weigh a little bit more but that's why we weigh them every day to make sure that their diet is balanced so depending as well of the fish uh, depends on the kilo calories which they eat so we have to control everything to make sure that they're well fed in the seal pool, we have two Patagonian sea lions with the harvest seals. They're involved in taking part in a rescue project. So we're working with the uh, military emergency unit. That's um, emergency services that they have here in Spain. So we collaborate with them. They come to the oceanographic and have sessions with the sea lions. So basically, we're trying to uh, demonstrate the possible ways that sea lions could uh, be capable of um, participating in potential rescue missions. So let's talk about Ginger. She's uh, she's going to be eight years old this year, and she's the most advanced in the project. So uh, basically, what she's taught to do now is um, collaborate with um, these divers, the the Ume. So they come, um, basically they're here in this pool diving and she will assist them. So she'll take down support materials, for example, bottles of spare air. Uh, she'll take down diving equipment, masks, um, and also a lifeline, for example. And these things are potentially going to be useful if um, there were uh, someone in, in trouble in open waters. Uh, at depths that the divers wouldn't be able to reach in time or would take too long to descend so as we know that sea lions don't suffer from decompression sickness so uh, if they were to go down and come up really fast they wouldn't be affected whereas divers uh, they do need to take their time in reaching uh, depths and also to resurface As you can see, we actually have really nice um, coloration of algae, the red, um, and we actually uh, we we try and leave a layer of the the algae because it gives a real natural effect. As we don't use chlorine, it uh, maintains quite well.
Schreibt jetzt eure Fragen in die Kommentare und vergesst nicht, dem Video ein Like zu geben. Damit ihr kein neues Video mehr verpasst, könnt ihr unseren Kanal kostenlos abonnieren.